run the game go. Right. And they're statistically not strong against the run. When you look at them, do people just they just run a lot of running plays at them to build up There's yards? There's a couple of games you can take out that change those stats a lot. Oh, really? Yeah, Wisconsin. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, That's, that's not a fair evaluation. And I think SEMO is a team committed to the run, uh, and Tennessee State is a team committed to the run. I, I think they've had a, a lot of people run the ball on. I mean, I think a lot of that is how many times they've been had the ball run on. Uh, you know, I think they're I think they, they're young. They're not. They, they've got some, a lot of new players in their defensive front. Uh, it appears to me, and I've I'm in the early stages of value. It appears to me they're just young players getting better as they play. They're not people that that you would put in the didn't have a chance category. I think they just had some learning curves and they had people come at them and run it at them a lot because they were young. Know, and uh, the dam broke against Wisconsin, but we're not Wisconsin. <laughs> and we talked about this yesterday about the there's three big categories that you look at to right. try to help you win. Uh, what are the bench what are your benchmarks for them to be successful? You know, in, in running you want X yard, stopping a run you want to hold them to X and the turnover margin. Well, well, you know, what are those benchmarks? Before from? before Ryan and, and uh, Marquez, before we look quarterback position a little differently, it probably would have been over two hundred yards uh, a game. And it still I think is our benchmark. But I think we put ourselves in a run or pass sequence a lot, and we take what what's given to us. And I think when you do that, I think I think 150 becomes the number. I think we're below 150. We're below standard. Mm -hmm. I think there could be some games though because of what they do that we'd have to take it back up to 200, which was I mean prior to 2008 was a number we achieved on a regular basis. Right. Right. I think it's a pie in the sky number. We probably achieved it 80% of the time. Uh, but that's that number. Now on the other side, uh, modern day football spread offenses. I think holding people under 100 is uh, realistic. And then you play uh, some people that are just totally dedicated to running it. I think you may have to adjust a little bit. But those, uh, those that's the range. Right, okay. And then the turnover margin, you want to be plus one to be a passing grade. Plus is the main thing, be on the plus side of it. Uh, our goal would be plus three, uh, and, but that goes to us having a zero and then taking three of them away. Yeah, but he helps. Okay. <laughs> Kedgy helps, helps a bunch. <laughs> uh, Kedgy's, I, I don't know, he could be leading the league in the reception, as he may so. be. Uh, <laughs> and, but we haven't been, been as good a uh, causing fumbles, stripping. Uh, I don't think our total number is up very high of takeaways. Even though I think plus I, four, I think. Uh, yeah, but I think receiving wise, uh, uh, I mean uh, interception wise, I think we're in pretty good shape. Now on the other side, I, th I think we've thrown too many interceptions. Um, there are circumstances to some of those, um, but still they, they still go down as a has a turnover, and we, you know the, the passing game. November is not the best month in the world to be living by the pass. Uh, so I think you have to make sure that you continue to create precision in your passing game, uh, getting sharper out of your cuts, getting better accuracy on your throws. But uh, you know I don't I don't think we have an alarming. Circumstances. Uh, we had two interceptions this week, and uh, you know people people get better recognition on you. They they squat on routes more, and you got to be more precise as you go along. Uh, one of ours was we throwing over a linebacker. Yeah, that one. <coughs> one Allen yeah. Bonner had both hands on. The only place he could have put it. Yeah. It just whether it's. Have to decide whether we can, whether we can do that, either that or 
but there's no question that turnovers are going to dictate winning and losing more than any other number, anywhere, any level, any team. So we we'll go from plus three, plus two, plus one, just don't get in that minus category. Quill's a good decision maker, and we trust him. Much as any more in parallel. <laughs> uh, that's no discredit to Ryan. <coughs> but uh, now he did before he left here. Now he was really good at it. But when he came here, he was a little bit of a gunslinger. He was one of those guys. And, I, and sometimes I say this to Quez uh, sometimes you got to give a receiver a chance to make a play. And you know who your receiver is, you know who your what situation you're throwing it into, but you may quote unquote throw the ball into coverage. Ryan, when he came here, was used to playing with first round draft choice wide receivers, and he was a little bit <coughs> over the line when it came to that, that approach. Homecoming this week, you guys. <laughs> well, I haven't played in a homecoming game. <laughs> well, you've been here for a <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, the, students, the students get up for it. I, mean, I know like, a lot of people have been talking about it. They're excited about the week, about the stuff going on on campus. So I think we'll have a good turnout for the game. People will be ready for us to play. I mean, people start talking about it, I think, right after the game. After, yeah. Right after Tennessee State, people start talking about it. First time you brought it up earlier today, first time we've been back to back at home yeah. in a while. Maybe maybe years, I don't know. That could help. KG? Uh. I'm going to ask you a question. <coughs> what has what goes into having an interception? You've had a few and they're not all alike. What are, what are the different things? Not you just deciding you want it. A few things have to come together to get them, I know. I expect Kedji to be an all-timer before he leaves here, by the way. I like to hear him explain things because he's real smart. <laughs> I just, <clears throat> I just um, go into the game. You know, Coach Nova gave me a very good scout report on the team. And so when I'm back there at safety, I just read the defense and play ball, do my assignment, try not to let the defense down. Because we talk about, Coach Stewart talk about get the ball get turnovers, stop the run, make plays. And so I do my job, make plays, stop the run, do it, I do whatever it takes to help our defense and the team wins. Inside the system. Yes, sir. Pass rush has something to do with that. <laughs> yes, sir. Like the Tennessee State game, our uh, defensive line had excellent pass rush. They, I watched on film, they got the quarterback almost about every other snap. Uh, Texas and Kevin Diggs, Trio, Monte, the D, and they got off there pretty good. So they, they really helped us out in the game plan, helped out the secondary out. When you say the interceptions you got, how many of them were due to a bad quarterback decision and how many of them were due where he shouldn't have thrown the ball <laughs> as opposed to how many of them were just a bad throw? Uh, probably this, this past game, Tennessee State, I think. Quarterback had a lot of pressure. He tried to just get the ball out a lot, and I just reacted on it, kind of good interception. But a lot of the play, uh, um, I just read the coverage because the sky report of, of Coach Norwood. So I kind of anticipate what kind of route they're about to run, right. about the uh, alignment of their formations and everything. It's low key. It seems to be easy, pretty easy to, to play for as a position coach. Yes, sir. Coach Norwood, he's an excellent coach, in my, uh, in my opinion. He does a great job getting us prepared for the game. And, his practice mentality. His practice mentality is very intense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the second day of SB League, we gonna work Monday through Thursday. We gonna get something out of practice <laughs> during the week. Uh, one time I was leaving practice, like we were, we were over here, and they went on the field uh, over there, and everybody was leaving. So I'm getting in my car to drive home, and they still out there throwing the deep balls, they chasing them like. I, I talked to him uh, later on that day, and I was like, Kenzie, I rode by, and I think I, like, blew the horn or something, trying to let him know that we was out of practice. And he was like, man, Coach, Coach Norwood don't care. <laughs> 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 <laughs>